in terms of undergraduate training, both for doctors and also pharmacists. Likewise, for GPs in training, they should also be exposed to pharmacists who are undertaking these types of roles. I think in this particular case, communication is really critical so that everybody is clear about what everybody is doing. And hopefully that should then lead to better integration. There are a number of recommendations for practice based on the result of this study. For example, as the role of the practice-based pharmacist is expected to expand to include more clinical patient-facing roles, pharmacists must be prepared for this expansion of the role and increasing patient awareness of the role may exacerbate workload issues on the practice-based pharmacist. So therefore, having more than one practice-based pharmacist in the general practice and having a pharmacy technician in general practice may help to address these demands. 